Big story tonight, Senator-elect Kirsten Sinema has a lot of new colleagues, and one of them will soon be Martha McSally, who, of course, she beat in the race to fill Senator Jeff Flake's seat back in November. Now the race has come full circle. McSally may have lost the battle for Flake's seat, but Governor Doug Ducey appointing her to the late Senator John McCain's old seat, which was held by Senator John Kyle. Now, Kyle announced his resignation from the seat just last week. It's a lot to tackle, so of course we called in the expert, political reporter Bram Resnick. And Bram, this is really a big win for McSally after such a devastating loss in the election. Yeah, it really is. Some critics say Martha McSally's getting a really nice participation trophy for losing the U.S. Senate race. Supporters argue she and Kirsten Cinema both got more than one million votes. Cinema won by just two points, so McSally has earned it. Besides, Doug Ducey had to pick a Republican to fill that Senate seat. Now, McSally's appointment was widely expected after Democratic Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema defeated her in the November election. Back in September, Governor Ducey had appointed Senator John Kyle to the McCain seat just days after McCain was laid to rest. But Kyle never planned to stay beyond the end of this year and told Ducey last week he'd step down December 31st. Now, McSally was asked by reporters today how she could put the bitterness of the Senate campaign behind her. At one point, she accused Cinema of treason. The election's over, uh, and the people have spoken, and I'm honored to have this appointment. And now, for all of us, it's about moving forward, and it's about the challenges that we have as a state and as a country, and continuing to be uh, problem-solving to make a difference for the people that we represent. McSally also said she looks forward to working with Kirsten Cinema in the U.S. Senate and texted her this morning. Through a spokesman, Cinema declined to comment on the appointment. Governor Ducey said Cinema would be sworn in first on January 3rd as Arizona senior senator. Martha McSally will be sworn in after Cinema.